So my good friend Jeffrey Fader sent me a video on Instagram of a floppy hammer, which was like my dead blow hammer. I'll put a link there somewhere. I'll probably put the video of the hammer so you can see that. And I thought, I could do it better than that. Definitely better than that, because this was shit. It was rubbish. And what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna try and make it around this length, but not full spring. So I need to cut the spring down and then design the rest of the handle around that, obviously. Now this guy's clue, clue down, cool down, obviously. I'm gonna make a little collar for this top bit, because I do want another bolt to sit in there. But then when it goes into the head, it's gonna look very unsightly. So if I make a nice little collar, then it will look unsightly. Obviously that's the reason why I'm doing it. So let's make a collar. I've just finished up cleaning this head. This head, not this head. Which you won't be able to see because of the shine. I'm trying to get it to focus properly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this contrast here. It's clean on the top, clean on the bottom. But then the sides have this nice contrast with the rustiness. I quite like it, so I'm leaving that. I don't give a fuck what anyone else says. Now I need to mount it to this. So I'm going to have to put it on, figure out where to cut this, and then weld it on. Like that. And then it's time to do the woody wood bit. Oh.
Glowing montage. The glue has now dried, so now it's time to sand this up a little bit more and then get it oiled. We'll try that again. <laughs> what a cabbage. That proves nothing, it was all soft stuff. Bloody soft bricks. <coughs> A teepee. Oh, that working, you didn't even hit one nail.